how to create a portfolio on Behance. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a portfolio on Behance. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything step by step. We're going to be going over all the features and the benefits in this beginner friendly tutorial. So it doesn't matter if you've never used this software before, because after watching this video, you'll know everything about it. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and sign up onto Behance. You can see right here, uh, you have the sign up button right here. So click on sign in and here you can go ahead and click on create an account. And here you can create an account by using one of the socials over here, like Google, uh, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, even line as well. So go ahead and create an account and we'll continue. Then it's going to ask you, what is it that you would like to do? Why would you like to join Behance? Basically choose one of these options. So I'm a creative slash freelancer. Use Behance to showcase you and discover work, exposure to find a job. And I'm a hirer. Use Behance to point jobs. So this is the one that we are going to use. We're going to click on I'm a creative slash freelancer. I'm going to select that. And then over here, pick one of the few topics. So you've got graphics designing, uh, illustrations, motion, architecture, photography, a bunch of different other ones as well. So go ahead and select anything over here. You have to select at least one category to continue. So for now, what I'll do is I'll select photography and then we'll just simply click on continue and then you are good to go so here you go you can see right here we have all of the options right here this is your feed all the topics that you follow are going to be over here and this is like a little checklist that you can follow but it totally depends on you for now we can just get rid of that so in order for you to go ahead and create your portfolio what you want to do is you want to come over here into the explore section and click on search and explore here you will see we have projects we're going to select the projects and then over here we got search and we got portfolio We'll search for portfolio and down below we can see all these amazing portfolio options and we can go ahead and select one of those right we can go ahead and check them out how they look like and stuff like that and here we can go ahead and check out some of the designs to get inspiration from uh you can see right here if i open up this one right here the 2025 portfolio we can see this is how it looks like we have this section right here we have what the name then we have uh i would say the detail and then we have the introduction experience resume and then we have these uh, skill sets and how he designed them these are his i would say the recent projects that he did and then down below we can see a little bit more detail as to what it is that he has done in those projects so this is one of the ways that you can create one i'll show you how you can create one the i'm just taking a look at some of the examples just so that you can see how it would look like once you have created one yourself so this one also looks pretty nice uh you can see over here we got tools we got saves, shares, appreciations. So this one also looks cool. This is like a more of a retro cartoonish or anime type of thing. Uh, it has all that going on over there. You can hire Nathan over here. This is how it would look like. You would find different types of design sections right here. For example, let me just close this up where you can go ahead and hire people. So that's how, that's how Behance works. Now let's go ahead and move on. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hover your mouse over your profile and then go to Behance profile. Here, you will see that this is how it looks like. You can see right here, this is your work, services, and all the other options. And here you can create your projects. Basically go ahead and showcase all of the work that this project is gonna be your portfolio. In the services, you can go ahead and create a service as well. And mood board is where you can go ahead and save projects for searches and other options as well. Appreciation is gonna be where you see all of the appreciations you've gotten on your resume or on your portfolio so to go ahead and create the portfolio what i would recommend is before you do that what i would recommend is going ahead and editing your profile finishing it up like for example adding the name url all the links options about me work experience and all of these stuff and then we can move on right so make sure you complete your profile beforehand so let's get started so first things first you can see it, it's already showing us to go ahead and finish these up but let's go ahead and first create a project so here we're going to click on create project and here you can see we have some options. We got images, text, video, uh, embedded, Lightroom, 3D prototype. We got some style and custom button and asset attachment as well. So here you can go ahead and select and start building your project via images, grids, videos, and audios, right? So let's say we select video here. We're going to go ahead and select a couple of videos to go ahead and upload. 
see what their requirements are. Okay, so I'm uploading a couple of videos right here. So they're going to take a couple of seconds, but we should be good to go. And once they are uploaded, it looks something like this. You can see it says right here that it is uploaded successfully. Now it's just going to go ahead and process it. It could take a few minutes or hours, depending on the size. I did upload fairly small videos so it shouldn't take much long so let's go ahead and pause this video right here and catch you guys in a sec all right so here we go so it's now loaded up everything looks great so now over here what you can do is you can go ahead and make them a little bit different so right now if you click on this little arrow button you can see you got reorder project add caption replace video delete video all those right so here if you click on reorder project you can see we have these videos in order. You can go ahead and move them around. You can add captions. You can add like a photo grid over here where you can add images, but these could be used as thumbnails if you want. And over here, we've got video audio. We've already added that. We've got 3D options, prototypes, embedded, and many, many more, right? And down below, you've got the style. If you click on style, you can go ahead and change the background color. Uh, you can add content spacing. You can see right there, we can add spacing. And that's pretty simple, right? That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and add a few contacts, right? At the top, let's go ahead and add a few headings. This is over here. Let's go ahead and move it up over there. Click over here, reorder it. This is the text. We'll move the text at the top. Click on save new order. And here we can go ahead and type in the title of this project. And then we can just simply go ahead and select them all and reorder them, make them bolder. And of course, increase the size of the text to 24, or maybe even a bit more, let's say 30. That looks much better. All right, there we go. We can even go ahead and say this is a header and change the font to something else. But yeah, I think that we should, Arial looks good. There we go. And after that, we can add titles like this one over here. So here I'll just go with, yeah, that looks great. And this will be caption. We could go with a subheading or caption. I think caption is okay. Change the font to Arial and increase the size a little bit because it is a little bit harder to see. I don't know if I can put this at the top. I don't think I can. So this should be okay right here. Let's make it bolder as well and not italic. It's already italic. We don't want that, but I don't think I can turn it off because this is a caption. So there we go. We can do the exact same thing for other projects as well. And then once it's done, we can just simply click on continue right here at the right corner. Here we can go ahead and add and upload a project thumbnail. And here we can add the title, add keywords for these projects so i think that's great uh if we have any mobile videos we can upload that those as well but i think this is okay next we can go ahead and add behance visibility everyone password protected whatever copyright this project contains adult content no it does not everything looks good we can even go ahead and categorize it but i don't think it falls under these categories maybe if i go ahead and click on all i can find something well i don't think there is a field for this type of content but there's tons of other fields like for example you can see a lot of them like animation advertisement beauty a creative directive digital painting fashion furniture stuff like that so you can go ahead and upload those but i think this is okay and then you just simply click on publish okay this field is required so i suppose we can go ahead and upload a few but after that i think you guys can understand uh, what you need to do so i'll just select animation click on done so i'll just upload this one i created this one in canva right here okay and we should be good to go that looks great uh it doesn't fit entirely over here so i suppose we could just zoom in a little bit i suppose this okay i think maybe this is okay and then click on yeah you can see right here this is how it looks like and then we just simply click on publish and now we have a portfolio and it's as simple as that. Next, you can go ahead and add multiple projects to it, create more projects for different types of categories, and you should be good to go. So you can see right here, start your portfolio now, so click over here, and then it'll take us to Adobe portfolio where we can create one even better. So there you go. So now we can just simply continue, but it's currently not available. So that's fine. Uh, you are basically good to go. That's like half the work already done. That's like, I only, I think it's even more than half, but yeah, you should be good to go. So there you have it. That's how you do it. That's how you can create portfolios and projects in Behance. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care and goodbye.